Dawn, Tacoma Parkers, and everyone else. You're listening to the Sisters of the District Revolution here on Tacoma Radio. It is a Monday night, August 12th. You know, it's 9.34. We're here again after what seems like forever. Every time. I just I miss I miss being here. Every other Monday in between. But you know, every other Monday in between our show we gotta make some room for Ride with a Ride with Clyde. He's um our the alternate show every other week they um, we switch off with Clyde. Um, but always after DMV Underground um, on at eleven tonight, so make sure you guys stay tuned as well as staying tuned to the the rest of the week you never know what's gonna happen here on tacoma radio lots of good music lots of good vibes so just check it out um again you're probably listening to us on 94.3 in your radio or you're online streaming at tacomaradio.org so we thank you guys for listening i have a very special show for y'all tonight i have three cool rock and roll ladies coming through (laughs) i just sounded so dry saying that um but i have some special guests coming in if you don't follow me on instagram it's gonna be instagram slash sdrtkpk and that's the same username for our gmail and facebook as well if you want to like or follow us or send us some feedback or you know even if you want to share some of your own music and you maybe want to be on the show you can send us that um, hopefully on Gmail. That'll probably be the best way to talk to us. Uh, first song you heard, and I'm probably going to say this so wrong, Wede Haraguzo from Hailu Emergia. Um, shout out because he went to Howard University. And you should check him out. Um, all of the songs will be on our archive after the show at TacomaRadio.org, so make sure you want to find out what some of the songs were and you missed me saying it you can check it there so anyways back to our special guest for the evening strange fruits all the way from montreal um they do have one dc native in the group um they are here for their first united states radio interview they live in north north america they live in canada but they're down here for a lot of other things besides being um, some honored guests on my show. I'm really excited to have them. We haven't done a full band interview on the show yet, so it's going to be a night of firsts, as they say. Anything can happen. I'm really excited. It's uh, their five-year anniversary um, of being a band, and I'm excited to talk to them about their upcoming shows and perhaps some other projects they have got going on. So make sure you guys stick around for a little interview and maybe some other little goodies in there. Right now you're listening to Love and Death by Ebo Taylor. Um, and we're going to just go right into it with some of the music that I put together for tonight. Kind of all inspired by some more recent releases, but obviously these past few songs and the next song I'm going to play are a little bit older. I think you guys might see similarities in the vibes of the songs. So once again, happy Monday, and you guys are listening to Sisters of the District Revolution. Here you are again um, with the Sisters of the Digit Revolution here in Tacoma Radio in the heart of Old Town Tacoma Park. If you're not familiar, I don't know, Google it. doesn't really matter. What does matter is that you're here now, wherever in the world you are. If you're listening on radio at 94.3 locally. Or you're somewhere else in the world and you're online listening at TacomaReady.org. Thank goodness for technology, right? How would I reach all of you? How would I be able to satisfy your 9.30 to 11 p.m. needs of music that 
I listen to? Well, we'll never have to wonder. That's what all I'm saying. Thanks again, you guys, for being here. Um, tonight is a very special night full of surprises for everyone. Um, we're going to be joined soon with Strange Fruits. It's an all-women band from Montreal and one special DC native in the trio there. They're going to be coming in here talking to us about their upcoming projects, why they're here in DC, what they have up their sleeves, and who knows? Maybe they got some tricks up their sleeves. I'm very excited to have them on the show. Uh, you know, us here at Sisters of the District Revolution started as three sisters. Sometimes there's only one of us here. Um, and look who's showing in now. Strange Fruits. I'm going to get the door for them, guys, and I'm going to leave you with a song. Hey, and we're back with Sisters of the District Revolution. I'm here in the studio with Strange Fruits. Say what's up. Hello. Hello, what's up? Hello Tacoma Park. Hey. How are you doing tonight? Thank you guys so much for being here all the way from Montreal. Montreal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank yes. you for having us. So excited. Uh, I'm going to go around <laughs> the room <laughs> uh, and introduce you guys. So first up. On my left, we have Sage S, aka Starfruit. How's it going? What's up? Um, so, what's your position in the band? I am a vocalist, a songwriter, beat maker, and cool fruit, <laughs> baby fruit. <laughs> baby. No more. <laughs> Great. Who's next? <laughs> Doesn't have to be in order. Yeah, just not like Step up to the mic. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, we have Nagika Champagne, aka Dragon Fruit, um, vocalist, MC, songwriter, um, also instrumentalist of the band. Because I don't know how to beat mate for my life. <laughs> don't give me a computer. That's not how it works for me. Great. But give me an instrument, and, I, and I'm there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's raw. That's yeah. Good. And next up. And lastly, we have Mags, a.k.a. Passion Fruit, um, DMV native, actually. Um, I, yeah, I am a vocalist, MC, beat maker. I also moonlight as the group's uh, visual artist. So a lot of the neat visuals you'll see for cover arts and things like that. It's your girl. And I'm also the group's mom. So <laughs> keep them in line. <laughs> Everyone needs... A mom of the group. Absolutely. No one really needs a... You never hear about the dad of the group, you know? I mean... No. <laughs> Do we have a dad go, of the group? We're not going to go there. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. At least we know who the mom is. Yes. So I hear this is your five-year anniversary. It is. Yeah. yeah. Five years old this year. Yes, yeah, the whole five-year old. Yeah. yeah. That's exciting. It is very exciting. Lots of accomplishments over the years. Yeah. And we're just getting started, you know? Yeah. Just getting started. Yes. I'm yeah. curious how it actually started. How did you guys all meet? So we met <laughs> at a at a studio called No Bad Sound Studio, which is affiliated with uh, La Maison des Jeunes Côte de Neige, um, which is like it's a it's a place where kids from like 12 to 17 year old go after school um, to do like ec like extracurriculum activities and just like a lot of people help them with like homework and stuff. Um, but they also like created a studio for them to be able to like explore um, their creativity in, in another way um, through music, either learning how to beat make, um, to, to write songs, and to just be in a recording studio. And I was a part of it for a little while. I was brought up with a friend of ours uh, whose artist name is Chizimba. Shout out. Uh, shout out to Chizimba. Uh, we went to the same uh, CJEP together. Uh, which is, yeah, they don't know what that is, <laughs> college. <laughs> um, and, yeah, so he started going there. He invited me up to a couple of sessions, went there. And then there was one time there was, like, a jam session. Mags was there. Um, we clicked it off right away because I have the same name as Mags' <laughs> little niece. And then we just, like, uh, jammed. Uh, and it was just really just like that. And then one of, like, kind of, like, the manager of the time 
wanted to do a more like girl oriented like project because in general um, hip hop is very like male dominated and uh, so we were down and then we were like okay we'll come and Sage showed up we were the only three there there was a lot of chemistry so we were like let's make a band and the rest is kind of history so that's how that's real sweet happens. Yeah. talk about wholesome yeah, yeah. Wholesome. that's like the ultimate wholesome the wholesomest wholesome content right here <laughs> on wild oh do we have a friend we do have a friend but let's let him in let's let him in yeah we can still talk yeah. they'll just be a part of it yeah cool, yeah. Cool. yeah do you mind um that's that's for real wholesome so yeah. then now she's been history for five years yeah, yeah it's been a crazy ride honestly after um that project at the at no bad sound studio quote unquote ended because really the main objective of the project was actually to complete a uh, six song ep in three months over that summer we released the ep in september of 2014 at a hip-hop festival um it was very well received and before you know it um little different organizations a lot of grassroots um, organizations were asking us to perform for them um, we were asked to you know do froshes um, college parties things like that you know and then it kind of just snowballed from there from you know local bars to like festivals to like bigger and bigger gigs and it's like you know it's a little rough when you're starting out on your own you're in an independent group you're in your young 20s or you're barely 20 and you know, you, you, you're kind of self-managed and it's kind of like learning to say yes and learning to say no to certain things to kind of keep your sanity. So I think that has been the main crux of what we've learned over the past five years. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, and growing as a group together, like each person has their own influence on the other, of course, but like, do you guys see yourselves much different from when you first started or oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah in oh, great yeah, in a yeah. good way and i yeah. see smiles so i feel way. like it's a good way <laughs> in a good way there's a lot there's like obviously like just what mags was saying like we started out and like some of us were like barely 20 you know and so there's there's a lot of like individual growth as much as there was a lot of like growth within yeah. um the band um as bandmates so yeah there's been a lot of ups and downs like any type of like relationship that you have with someone right and you know like being creative with with people can be very fruitful pun intended <laughs> <laughs> but it can also be it can also be a lot because there's a lot of like different energies and right you know um but it's i think we've learned to listen to each other more and just like it's all also about like calling out and calling in and just be like you know like we need to to work on that or yeah. we need to address that or how do we feel about that um self-awareness yeah, self group awareness, awareness. Group awareness yeah. And accountability yeah um which is not always like the the um, easiest thing to do yeah. but it's something that needs to be done and like yeah we've been we've been been growing a lot for five years yeah it's interesting because we have had this opportunity to just like work on our interpersonal dynamic for so long that we got to learn so much about how to grow as artists, but also how to grow a friendship for so long. Mm -hmm. You know, w these two people beside me, we've had our ups and downs for sure, but like we've always been able to stay in constant communication, connect over music, over other mutual um, interests, and just like build that rapport. And I think that's really amazing. Yeah, that has to be important in a situation like this. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But I'm curious when you guys aren't together, because clearly <laughs> you can't spend every moment together. <laughs> For sure. What do you guys? What not. do you guys do when you're not being a band? Um, uh, like, well, do you do stuff like regular friends all together? Oh yeah, For or is sure. it always like, a band? Uh, no, and yeah. on your and, own. And that has been a line that has been blurred for some time, <laughs> especially in the beginning. Because the thing is, we weren't friends when we started. Right. We didn't mm -hmm. know each other. The the uh, predecessor to this group is the group. Yeah, you know. So it was learning to be friends outside of the group dynamics. So things as simple as, you know, grabbing bubble tea or going to the movies or being forced to watch scary movies against their will um, or sleepovers. <laughs> Jade. <laughs> or, you know, wholesome things like sleepovers or going to, like, family events, like going to each other's family events and things yeah. like that, you know. Mm -hmm. Things that are completely removed from the artistic spectrum mm -hmm. that really allow us to kind of see 
who we are, not just what yeah. we are as artists, but like what kind of upbringing right. we may have shared or where we yeah. differ and things like that. So yeah. yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. That's yeah, all those things are super important, not only in friendships, but yeah. obviously to make a group work. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, it's 10 11. We're going to jump into some more songs. Up next is actually a song from, this is funny, from Lightmare hey. that I included. So this is Dead Nude. Um, yes. So we will be back with some more talking to Strange Fruit here on Sisters of the Digital Evolution. Yes, Afro Punk as by Strange Fruit. Strange, Strange Fruits. I'm sorry. <laughs> also done here live in the studio while that song was playing. You bet. You bet. <laughs> you know it. Yeah. <laughs> so again, I'm here with. The Montreal-based band Strange Fruits. They are they are visiting from Montreal. Why? What are you guys visiting here for? What are you doing? Well, I live here, so <laughs> <laughs> we, that's one thing. <laughs> you know, number one. What's number two? Well, I mean, I mean, um, it, it's a complicated story, really. <laughs> um, so yes, I used to live in Montreal. I went there for university. I moved there in 2010. And this band started in 2014, and I ended up moving back last year while I work on some residency papers to move back. You know, bureaucracy, I- immigration, all that stuff. Fun stuff! Fun stuff! So I get to so support artists, support local, smaller exactly. artists, yeah. guys. You For know, sure. support your artists. We are working very hard to maintain our group dynamic despite the distance. You know, we were in Halifax a few months ago. Um, now they're here um, to, to visit little old me. But you know me. <laughs> um, I'm an opportunist. I, I make everything work. So we ended up finally manifesting this show that I've been wanting to do with Lightmare for so long. Um, Lightmare, an amazing local band, DC band. Got to check them out when you can. And, you know, very soon you will be able to check them out. Mm-hmm. Um, so why, why are you guys in DC? <laughs> well, <laughs> we can't wait to do this show, but we also have another motive. We have a music video that we are filming. That's right. Um, Without giving away too much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know. can, can you give us a little taste what the vi- what the vibe of the video yeah, is? Just don't release be. the location because you know the yeah, fans exactly. are going to be don't all over there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, a little teaser. I mean, it's about heartbreak. That's all I can say. <laughs> That's Ooh. all I can give out. It's about heartbreak. Deep uh, side. Any, t- any type of heartbreak. Uh, and just dealing with that. And, uh, yeah, so... Yeah. yeah, cool. Our the real theme. fans know what which song it is, <laughs> but because mm-hmm. uh, we play it a lot um, during our live sets, it's not quite released yet. But that is something that is in the works for us because we have been um, in studio. We've been recording some fan favorites, and we've been recording some new songs. All of which um, you'll be able to hear um, on Thursday at the Rhizome DC. Yeah. It took us a while to figure out how to pronounce it. Yes. I for sure thought it was Rhizome. Rhizome. For the, the longest time. You said Rhizome. I've heard that rhythm? too, and I think Riz- that I that's said fine. Rhizome. Rhizome. <laughs> Rhizome. Rhizome sounds <laughs> it's a Rhizome. Lot cooler. Thank you. That's what I said. But Thursday. It's like Rhizome. Yeah, that's what I'm However saying. However you say it, as long as you're yeah, there, Rhizome, it's going to be a sweet show. 7 p.m. That's it. Uh, be there. Most of my square. listeners. Or be square. Tacoma Parkers, you yeah. guys know where Rhizome's located, right by the CVS, behind the new Starbucks and... Oh, uh, Big Bad Wolf and stuff. Um, yeah, it's uh, fairly new, at least to me. Okay. I don't know how my time works. It's new to me. <laughs> yeah. It's new, it's it's new, new to us. It's new to you guys from, from here. <laughs> um, so what time does the show start? So I do believe that the doors are at 7. Yep, seven. Um, 
I think the show's at 7.30 or 8, but you know, music. Music, <laughs> music has no time. But no, but show, show up Show on time, up, show up at 7.30. If yeah, you do intend to come, yeah. please come on time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because this is going to be a stacked lineup. It's not just Dre Truth. It's not just Lightmare. But it's Black Folks Don't Swim. Yeah. And I've heard Another great band. things mm-hmm. about them. I've heard they, great stuff about they, them, too. They are phenomenal, yeah. phenomenal vocalists, phenomenal instrumentalists. You know, you got to support your local artists. So you got to. Yeah, we gotta. can't wait. Absolutely. Very excited. Yeah. Yes. Um, so I know you guys, I mean, that's going to be a pretty close show in terms of like vibes. Mm-hmm. You guys um, have chosen Alternative Chill Soul. <laughs> uh, can you tell me more about your influences and how you came to that genre? What it I means don't to you? really remember like exactly how no, we came I to think that it genre, was but it's at just a radio show. Actually. Oh, yeah, it was at a radio show. But <laughs> wow. um Basically, we just have like very different styles and of music, and also like what we listen to um, to like get into the mood of like composing. Okay. Um, so I I listen to mostly like soul music, whether it be like neo soul um, or like Motown or a lot of like whole hip hop too, and just like folk music. Um, and then Sage listens to. I mean, about. it's like the alternative is really just uh, the umbrella term for my wide variety of musical interests and sounds like house and jazz and also musical theater and um, s- scores, all yeah. types of uh, movies and the- um, themes. And even like rock, like I grew up listening to Linkin Park and uh, just like, I love it. So. Shout out to the scene kids. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think also all of us listen to, to no, rock I was too. Which big is old like, Aspen Hill scene yeah, kid. Really, like, I was yeah. really out there with the Arizona cans yeah. and everything yeah. while all my friends went to Warped Tour. Anyway. Listen, yeah. Listening to dance, dance and just like hard rock. And yeah. all that. Um, as for me, in a very similar vein to Sage, I do like um, uh, cinematic music, but my... Um, venue for that is more of like a chill step almost like a electronic um way of making beats but i also infuse a lot of afrocentric samples my family coming from west africa i sample a lot of the music that was playing around the house so you'll have a lot of um techno elements like you know a lot of deep bass a lot of synths but then you'll have kind of like in the highs you'll have a lot of um almost ancestral percussions a lot of you know african sounds and things like that so i'm kind of the chill component in the alternative chill soul uh yeah. genre that we've created for ourselves mm-hmm. yeah yeah and then at the end we kind of like blend it all with yeah. uh with, with hip-hop like a sandwich yeah. Yeah. like <laughs> like i think it all our genres are are, are the ingredients in the sandwich and then hip hop are like the buns. The buns. That's it. Yeah. See, now we gotta like make that, that beautiful. See, when you put it into terms of sandwiches, <laughs> yeah. I, get, I totally get it. it. Yeah. You know? yeah. Yeah. Um, that's sweet. Um, so the other thing you guys are here for is a uh, video shoot and the, um, the show. Yes, the show. What else have you been getting into? Have you had time to like do anything fun? We will. We, we will. Yeah. The we arrived, agricultural uh, fair has <laughs> begun. Yeah. When are you guys going? Yeah, Wednesday. Wednesday. You yeah. should join us. I yeah. would. Uh, I was going to go shoot some stuff there on Saturday. Oh, uh, they'll be yeah, long gone. But Saturday. I'm glad you guys could fit that in there. I oh, drove yeah. past sure. it and it looks like fun. Yeah. I went last year with a friend of mine and it was the first time I had gone in a few years because the last time I went was a long time ago with my two sisters. And I was like, oh my God, this is just like in the American movies <laughs> yeah. with like, you know, the funnel cake and the I'm big so old bad. trucks and the Ferris wheel. It is. It's very cute, very wholesome. Now it's I get to do that American with my fruits. Yeah. It's our first Who county are, fair, right? Right? Exactly. This is y'all's yeah, first county is. fair, yeah. so I gotta give them the true American experience mm. with Get fried some, food like, and oil, peanuts. And and our friend that came here yeah. is very excited about the about the fried food. Shout out! Shout out! Shout out! Thanks for driving. Yeah. Thank you for driving <laughs> us. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. uh, I also noticed you guys have a YouTube channel. A very very stacked YouTube channel. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, lots of live videos. If you want to get in the mood for this thursday or just see what we're about we have a few music videos on there too we have yeah. three official music videos one for our very first song green apple that was actually shot um with the assistance of no bad sound studio it was a very cute video fun day um 
it's kind of old though it's what like five years it's five years old like it's about as old as this band so for a long time when we would do shows and they would use this video to promote us i'm just like yes it's the only video that we have but like (laughs) we look 12 in this video but now we have the wanderer but still we look totally different because we shaved our heads but, yeah, I mean now I mean, we definitely look yeah. different from the two but. videos on there, but the Wanderer is definitely like a lit video yeah. for sure. <laughs> yeah. like, Did you all shave your heads at the same time? Absolutely, uh, no. like a solidarity. I, sh- I no. shaved my head first, and then Sage the copied, copied me. You. I didn't oh, shave okay. my head. I got four <laughs> rolls, and I don't plan on cutting my hair. Yeah. I have like this. <laughs> Not irrational fear. It's a long story, but I just don't want anyone <laughs> cutting my hair. We don't. No, that's that's another story for another no, time. Right. But yeah. I don't plan on cutting my hair, but I do wear it short. So we kind of look yeah. like a little short hair gang. Mm. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> and I like the Powerpuff Girls. Yes. We absolutely. coordinated. Shout out to the, how weird it is that we both had three of us. Powerpuff Girls. Three just, of you guys. Just video, like yeah. our, our, as our fr- friend would say, a salut distant. That's what you call destiny right there. That's energy right there. Yeah, Mm. that's what's up. Absolutely. Um, And you guys have Instagram as well. Can you tell them where to find you? You can find us on Instagram as well as Twitter on at Strange Fruit. You can find us on Facebook at The Strange Fruit. Um, Basically, if you Google Strange Fruits with two O's like the cereal, you will likely find all of our handles. You may find a a European glasses Glasses company, company. but ignore them. (laughs) No, that's not not what's up. Just make sure Google gets rid of that. Yeah. Strange Fruits, F-R-O-T-S, when you look it up. Yes. And then, of course, you can find the Sisters of the District Revolution on Instagram and Facebook. And if you need the emails for any reason, it's going to be SDRTKPK. We're going to get into a Ariel Pink song, and we'll be back after the break. Yes. back again i kind of hate to turn down the song because i like it a lot and i wanted you guys to hear it but you know that's what the archives are for exactly i'm here on tacoma radio this is the sisters of the district revolution here with strange fruits all the way from montreal slash dc what up (laughs) hey hey thank you guys so much for joining us here today uh can't wait for your show on thursday at rhizome if you guys have the means to go check it out check it out yes uh there's more info that i'm going to link on our instagram on where to see um more information about the show who's going to be there and what time and place and all that good stuff yes (laughs) thanks uh and just so you guys know this whole show is going to be on tacomaradio.org archived so you can listen to anything you miss any information about the band that you might have missed but again feel free to find them on facebook strange fruits f-r-o-o-t-s so again i'm here with nika mags and sage how are you guys feeling so far so far we're very we're very good. pumped yeah. oh yes very excited yeah. you know this is our first stateside show um two summers ago we were actually in senegal in West Africa um, to shoot The Wanderer that we were talking about before, but we also played um, the Fista du Zash, which is an international hip hop festival. And you know, this was just one of many highlights from our five year career. I think we were talking about this earlier, having opened for Princess Nokia a few times. Um, it's actually funny, the last time we opened for Princess Nokia was on August 15th of last year, which is the date of uh, the Rhizome show. So you know, energy. That's 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 energy right there. That's awesome. Yes. I love it. There's so many, you know, universal like exactly it's a spider web. Exactly, yeah, everything you know. that's happening right now. And it's, it's all you cycling. Guys are the center back. of it, for sure. You know, that's. I'm so happy to have you guys here. <laughs> um, so I know you guys have that upcoming show on Thursday. Are you guys 
you know, making your way in the States at all while you're Oh, no, here? this is just a just one-off one. stint. Yeah. Because yeah. um, two weeks after that, I'll be traveling to Montreal yeah. for the 10th anniversary of uh, NDG Art Week, which is a festival. It's a local festival in Montreal for the Notre Dame de Grasse uh, area of uh, the city. And we've performed for them over the years. We've done Samedi in the Park. We've done uh, Sunset on Summerled. We've done... Um, uh, street vibes. That street was like vibes one of our like, first shows. Street vibes was like the first one. It was like the first yeah, one. So first we've one. been part of that festival for many editions, yeah. and we are being invited to perform as um, part of the All Star um, lineup for their ten year celebration. So that's very Sweet. exciting. Very yeah, honored. August twenty fourth. Yes. So if you're in Montreal. If you're in Montreal. <laughs> if you're in Montreal. Playing with the live band too. So that's yeah, great. That's it. Yeah. Check it. Yeah, that's awesome. So I mean, I'm sure they'll be info that on your facebook absolutely maybe everywhere. on your youtube yeah mm -hmm. maybe on our youtube yes so those are your shows have you guys gone to any shows or are you listening into new music i want to hear about the shows first have you guys this summer doing a lot this summer um we're, we're kind of taking it easy you know um because you know obviously we're recording and we've been planning this trip for a while and um, we're just kind of figuring out what our plans are for the winter because montreal winter is rough yeah. rough um but uh, in between that we've been going to some other local shows in montreal supporting our fellow artists um one name that comes to mind immediately is backwash backwash, backwash. backwash. definitely need to check uh, out her music she is blowing up with she's really blowing some up. speed she was actually she dropped her album a few weeks ago and Bandcamp featured it as the album of the day like yeah. immediately when it came yeah. out yeah. and so I'm talking about a spider web yeah. you know exactly. you guys are putting it's out some, some really magic that's what I'm saying and now she she'll that. actually be uh, performing at the same show uh, that we performed at last, last year, year in Montreal Pride um, so we're very happy for her yeah. very stoked and yeah. definitely I think in terms of shows we just like went to a lot we just of went like, to all of her shows really yeah, just yeah. to stand to be Big honest fans. uh yes um, uh, but we just went to a lot of like uh local artist shows um, like Chisimba also had a show that yeah. I went to uh, what was it like a dad rock show it was like a bunch yeah. of bands yeah. playing and then you went to the Wally show here Wally show yeah Wally, Wally? yeah here he, no? Yes, yeah. I went. To, yes, so my friend, uh, who I love to call my rap uh, wifey, Holly, is a Canadian rapper, and she was actually on tour with uh, Cadence Weapon and Fat Tony last year, and she had a stop in DC, and I was so excited to see her at the Songbird. Nice. And um, I got There's to see. There's a lot her. of our artist friends that just come to DC. Yeah, right, right, right. yeah. Oh, yeah. So Jeanette long. King was also in town. Not too long ago. Um, not too yeah. long ago, so, and yeah. so we're just one of many Montreal acts making our way yeah. to DC. Nice. Yeah. Glad people are making more stops here. Yes. And not always all the way in Baltimore. Yeah. Uh, right. Mm -hmm. It's not like the best trip to make. Yeah, no, far. Sweet. What about you, Sage? You've just been tagging along? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I've been catching a few shows, a few... Um, I mean, to be honest, I've been cooping myself up at work because the grind is real. Gotta make that money. Don't call us starving artists for nothing. Money. Yeah, for real. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. I just figured as the youngest person in the group, you know, know that, that, you that you'd free. have the freshest, like, I ironically, take on everything. Ironically, I think Sage has <laughs> maybe the busiest schedule of us yeah. all because <laughs> even though I'm the quote-unquote grown-up of the group, I have a fairly <laughs> steady 9 to 5, like a very boring non-artist life. I get into work, I work, I go home. Sometimes I'll go to a show in D.C., but because... Um, I'm lazy and I have not gotten my driver's license yet. Going to DC is not <laughs> that convenient right, for me yet. Right, right, right. Yeah. You know, I gotta be honest with them. Yeah. I can't. I can't lie. Uh, yeah. I don't have my license. True. So mm. um, you gotta make it count when you go to DC. Yeah. Right. And Ubering from Whew. I think like Montgomery in terms County of like going to shows and stuff. The I'm best. the one who the most. That's it. Yeah. Most likely. Yeah. Probably. I mean, I'm I, just used to the night lifestyle because I'm a bartender at like yeah. two restaurant bars. So I just right. yeah. That's that's kind of my thing right now between freelancing and bartending. Yeah. I'm also a morning person, so Ooh, like I'm up. How's that working? I'm up forever. Up forever. And then wild. I want to type. Could I, type, be I me. can't take a nap. Oh. If I take a nap, I'm either like five minutes sleeping or like two days. <laughs> that's it. There's like so, no in between. Yeah, no. Can't do that either. That's rough. It's like full on hibernation or like, okay, ready to go. Oh that's yeah. rough. Oh, wow. Damn. I don't know. It works. It's been working for you know. 
this far, so we'll see where, where it goes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Doing this on a Monday night. Yeah. Um, we are, you know, coming to an end of the show. Um, I want to thank you guys again for coming in. So, 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 so happy for you guys to, like, make this stop. Thank you On your little DC yeah. tour. Yeah, thank you so much. First American radio Yeah. Interview. Yeah, thank you. My Hello. first band interview. See that? Yeah. It was even though it was more just, like, getting to know you guys. Yeah. It didn't feel like... So formal. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is there anything else you wanted to mention? I, I know you guys have some other upcoming projects going on. Um, Maybe people can keep an eye out for them. Y'all can follow us um, as for as as aforementioned at Strange Fruits. That's uh, Strange F R O O T S on Twitter and on SoundCloud and on Instagram. You can find us on Facebook at The Strange Fruits. You can visit our website. Um, www.thestrangefruits.com um, um, Google us. us. We're pretty much everywhere. <laughs> um, definitely visit our YouTube. Check out our videos. Um, visit our SoundCloud, Bandcamp, iTunes, Tidal. You can find us pretty much everywhere. Spotify. Um, Spotify um, and you got to mention the memo one time. What's the memo? Stay, stay cute, cute, stay, stay fruit. fruit. Hey. Thank you, Tacoma Park. Thank, Thank you, you, DMV. Guys. Got Thank a rep for my real. city. I was one thanks, time. Montreal. One, time. one, one time, time for Montreal. Three three time. Time. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm going to keep playing out until Cardo and the rest of DMV Underground arrives. So I'm going to be hanging out here with Strange Fruits for a little bit longer. You guys feel free to hang out with us. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to let you guys listen to a couple more songs. And then I'll come back to say goodbye. Too many teardrops For one heart To carry on W-O-W-D-L-P Check us out online at TacomaRadio.org